How would you like to increase your event sales the day of your event, but more importantly, to continue to get sales long after the event has ended? I'm going to show you a simple strategy of how you can increase your sales at your event, but how you can get sales for years to come. Hi, I'm Stan Shields, Marketing Automation Solutions, your small business marketing specialist. I ran vendor booths at local events for a lot of years. I used to own a martial arts business, and that was one of the primary strategies that we used to bring in new students. Through all of that, I also learned that there are some challenges with running the local events, especially as far as lead capture is concerned. So first of all, are you effectively capturing leads at your events? And what I mean by effectively is, are you capturing leads in a way that allows you to immediately begin using those leads to generate new business? What I see at a lot of events, even today, is that a lot of people are still using a clipboard, pen, and paper. One of the biggest problems with that is being able to read people's handwriting and then are you getting good contact information? Those lists are sometimes very easily lost. The second big issue is, do you have a giveaway that gets your ideal, your target market's attention? See, we have to have a reason for people to give us their information. It has to be a compelling reason, strong enough for them to want to give us their info. So we need a killer lead magnet. And then we want to have some mechanism that allows us to give them an immediate response, as well as we want some kind of a reward system in place for them participating. Third big challenge is when we capture those leads on paper, the biggest challenge for us is now we have to go back to our office or to our home or wherever we're doing our administrative work. And we have to now transfer that information into some kind of a system that we can use it in, whether it's a database or an email marketing system or whatever. And then we have to just put in place that system that's going to allow us to reach out to people. We wanna be able to send them to our online store or our in-person store. I'm about to dive into the specifics of how you can set up a system like this. But before we do, if you like the information you're getting from this video, please be sure to hit the like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you get notified when there are other videos that come out. Just as a quick overview, here's the system I'm talking about. When a prospect or a person walks up to your booth at the event, you want them to be able to scan your QR code. That QR code takes them right to a form that they can complete. As soon as they hit the submit button on that form, they get an immediate response via text message and email. The text message is the one that they're most likely going to see right at that point in time. Inside that text message is simply acknowledgement that they have entered your giveaway drawing and maybe even giving them a coupon code to buy something immediately. Maybe that coupon code can only be used today. This forces them to engage with you at your booth and maybe even boost sales for the day. After the event's over, you're then going to do your drawing and then reach out to the winner so that you engage with that person even more. In fact, what I used to do is I would give away the regular prize and then I would actually give away a kind of a consolation prize, if you would. I would do drawings like six months of martial arts lessons for free. One person would win that. Everybody else would win a 30 day free trial. That allowed us to reach out to every single person that gave us their information while they were at my booth. Let's dive into the specific steps that you use to set up a system like this. Step number one is to create a killer lead magnet. 
Now, this could be a whole video topic all by itself. You just want to make sure that it's something that they really want, something that they are willing to give you their contact information for. You also want to make sure that it's something that does not conflict with them making a purchase today while they are at your booth. Lastly, the biggest thing that you don't want to do is don't give away a Visa gift card or some kind of card like that because you'll get a bunch of people that enter your giveaway drawing simply to get that. They, they don't really have an interest in what it is that your business does. So you want whatever it is that you're going to give away to be a value but to be directly related to your business. Number two, set the drawing date to be at the end of the event, but also being very clear that the winner does not have to be present. That should get more people to actually enter the drawing because now they're not concerned that they have to come back to the event or they have to be there in order to win. Third, you want to create a reward for the people who are participating. For everybody that gives you their contact information, have some kind of a reward system for them. And that could be anything from here's a discount on a purchase that you make today. Here is a special buy one, get one offer. Here is some special training from you. Maybe it's a special video series. It's a, it's a download of some kind. You be creative. You know your business. Give away something that is going to enhance their experience with working with you, but also encourages them to further engage with you. Fourth item is you're just going to set up a simple landing page that allows the person to give you their contact information. Landing page might look something like this. So what you see here is a simple landing page that allows the person to get more information about the giveaway, maybe a little bit of info about you, but they fill out a form and when they click on the button to get the info, that's when your system automatically sends them a text message. If you'd like to see exactly how this works, scan this QR code with your phone and it will take you to that landing page that I just showed you. Number five, we're going to set up a automated SMS and email autoresponder so that when the person hits the button to submit their information to you, they're going to immediately get a text message that comes to their phone and they're going to get an email that goes to their email box. Chances are really good. They're not going to look at the email while they are out there at the event, but they probably will look at the text message that comes in. And that's where we want to really try and give them some incentive to buy something right at that moment while they are looking at that text message. Your email, on the other hand, is going to be much more of a long-term strategy. So the email should be maybe three to five emails all set up in a series so that they get one the day of the event. You could include coupon code or something like that in the email as well. But your email is going to now be stretched out over the matter of days or even weeks so that you're staying in touch with people. And this is how you're going to be able to generate sales down the line because this is how you're going to invite them to your online store or to your in-person store or maybe even just to your next event. And then number eight, we're going to create a QR code just like the one I showed you earlier, that will take people back to that landing page. I will leave a link down below for the QR code system that I use to create the QR codes. Now, what's really great about the QR codes now is that QR codes have evolved. You see, way back when I was doing all of my vendor booths with the martial arts business, the QR codes had just come out. Nobody had a QR code reader on their phone it was really tough trying to get people to download the QR code reader to their phone. Guess what? We don't have that problem today. The pandemic has changed all of that. The evolution of the QR code has just been enormous. And so now people are used to QR codes. They are comfortable with just pulling out their phone and scanning them right away. The other big 
benefit that we have is that cell phone technology has changed so much. Most cameras in cell phones these days will read the QR code. So pretty much everybody has one already on their phone and it's so much easier for them to use. Now as a backup, what I would do is have a link to that landing page right underneath the QR code, just in case somebody's phone won't read the QR code and they can't get to it. Even if you don't have a link shortener, go find a link shortener. It could be Bitly or Google has one. There are a lot of places where you can get link shorteners. That will allow you to create a nice short link that can go under your QR code. So if they can't actually scan the QR code, they can just type in the link and go to your page still. Now, the only drawback to this system is whether or not you're in a place that has internet access. If there is absolutely no internet access, then yeah, this isn't going to work for you. You still need to use paper and pencil. However, many times you can use Wi-Fi hotspots. You'll be able to get an access code if you're at a hotel in a convention and something like that. So usually there's a way for you to get internet access. And number nine, the last thing is you just need to promote your drawing while you're at your booth. So as people walk up to your booth, you want to make sure that you let them know that you have a special drawing going on and invite them to scan the QR code and submit their information for the drawing. I would also put up signage and if there's other people working with me in my booth, I'm going to ask them to make sure that they invite everybody that comes to the booth to participate. Now, if you do these nine steps that we just outlined for you, that's going to actually help you increase sales the day of your event. Plus you're going to make sales for years to come. Not to mention that what you're also doing is building your list of loyal customers. Many of you already have tools in place that you can use right now to create a landing page, to create a QR code and to uh, drive the text messages as well as emails. If you have all of those tools in place already, you just need to implement what we talked about here today. If you don't have those in place, check my links down below. Number one, you can schedule a 30 minute discovery call with me, whereas we can then talk through your specific business and what solutions might be the best for you. But also there is a link down below for systems that you could use to create these. In some instances, I already have pages like this built out where all you have to do is change colors, images, change, put your words in, and then the system is pretty much ready to go. Reach out and talk to me. We can figure out what will work best for you and your business. You can pretty much find me anywhere on social media at Stan in Shields. Once again, Stan Shields, Marketing Automation Solutions, your small business marketing specialist.